What's going on everybody? Justin here with Alpha Wash. So I was out in the shop fixing some stuff for the week and I'm sure a lot of people encountered this. So downstream injector not working. It's not pulling bleach um, and it's even spit out some water through where the chemical is supposed to go in. It's been pushing out water right there. So I'm going to show you all how to troubleshoot these things and fix them. We've actually fixed this one a couple times this year or last year, I guess, because it's now it's 2022. But um, yeah, we're going to show you all how to fix this thing. So y'all stay tuned. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take this nut out right here. But you want to be careful when you're taking it off because there's a ball and a spring inside of this. And you want to make sure that you don't lose them. So make sure you have a table or something that you can lay everything out on. Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to do is take this off the barb to the chemical line. You're going to take it off. And our problem is going to be somewhere in here. Alright, so there's our problem. Our O-ring is broke. And it's got our spring stuck. So if you look real close, right there. You can see the green o-ring in there so we're going to need something small to pick that out of there so there's a piece right there a piece of that green o-ring we're going to see if we can pull the rest of it out all right so there went the rest of it so now we got it cleared out so the way this thing goes is you want your o-ring inside of here inside of the barb then you want your spring on top of that then you want your ball at the bottom and your spring is tiny and is very easy to lose so i'm going to touch it as little as possible i'm going to leave it right there and i'm also going to leave the ball right here that little ceramic ball because i don't want to lose it so we're just going to leave that like that and this thing takes a pretty odd size o-ring so this is just a little o-ring kit that i keep that comes with a bunch of different sizes and i can't remember exactly what size it is we're going to go through a couple of them here and see if we can figure it out so we're going to put our o-ring in there and then we're going to push it down until it's flat at the bottom All right, so we've got it sitting perfectly in the bottom of there. Try to get it up so y'all can see it. We've got it sitting perfectly flush in the bottom of the barb. Then we're gonna take our spring and we're gonna drop it down into there. And you want to make sure that your spring is sitting straight up and down. You don't want it laying on its side because then it won't work correctly. And then what I also like to do is take and drop the ball down into the top of the barb after I get the spring in there. That way I can turn this upside down and screw it onto there like that so I don't have to worry about all of it falling out. So I'll screw it down hand tight like this. And then I'll flip it over. And then you just grab your half inch wrench and you tighten it up. And you are back in business. This chemical injector will work now. So anytime that O-ring breaks, you have to swap it out in there. You just have to be real careful not to lose your spring, not to lose the little ball in there. So hope this was valuable. All right. So I hope this was valuable to y'all. I'm sure a bunch of y'all have a bunch of these sitting around that you can't get working. Um, hopefully I could provide some 
guidance on how to get those working for you so they can start making you some money instead of just sitting around collecting dust. So catch y'all later.